Strange Planet with Richard Serrett from AM740. It is known as Britain's Roswell. Strange lights appear in the sky in the forest surrounding two Air Force bases in southeast England. The Rendlesham Forest UFO Incident. When Strange Planet continues in a moment. If you find this content compelling, please share this MP3 with your friends. And I hope you'll consider attending my upcoming live stage event, Follow the Truth 2, happening the evening of Sunday, April the 26th, at the Regent Theater in Oshawa, Ontario. For more information, visit followthetruth.tv. You can order your tickets by calling the box office at 905-721-3399. That's 905-721-3399. 905-721-3399. Hope to see you there. Great Britain's best documented UFO incident occurred over three nights in December 1980. The Rendlesham Forest lies in East Anglia, the Suffolk region of England, about 70 miles southeast of London, and lying within the Rendlesham Forest were two highly sensitive NATO RAF bases. Over the course of three nights, unknown flying objects, fully lit, came in over the nuclear weapons storage area and shone lights that can only be described as industrial lasers. Peter Robbins is the co-author of Left at East Gate, a first-hand account of the Bentwater Woodbridge UFO incident. On the first night, uh, John Burroughs and Jim Pennison radioed in their observations and in fact headed out by vehicle with a, uh, another uh, law enforcement personnel into the forest and came upon a machine um, that uh, they described basically as black, almost the appearance of black glass, not huge, um, maybe seven feet on a side, an equilateral triangle tapering up. They got very close to it. Um, Jim touched it, uh, observed not lettering, not hieroglyphics, not numbers, but, you know, something like that, and did his best to copy them into his notebook, made a drawing as well. The next night, unknowns were seen moving about in a grid-like pattern around the twin base complex. Two or three objects were seen descending onto the forest floor, where they tore out a certain amount of forest canopy. One object apparently left triangular impressions in the ground and plaster castings of those impressions were made by the deputy base commander, Charles Holt, and his men. Once again, UFO researcher Peter Robbins. In the impressions on the uh, trees where bark had been ripped off, a forest canopy had been ripped out, there was about eight times in excess of the trace amounts of background beta and gamma radiation uh, that one would normally expect to find naturally. Uh, Mr. Halt has been very outspoken about saying, and I may be paraphrasing ever so slightly, that what he and his men saw that night was not made by any government on this planet. On the third and final night, Airman First Class Larry Warren, a member of the security police and also co-author of Left at East Gate, was taken off his posting around the base perimeter. He was taken by base vehicle to the motor pool. Now other base personnel were gathering at the pool and sometime after midnight, this convoy headed off the base into the Rendlesham Forest. They took a left at the Eastgate Road leading to the base and headed into the woods on foot. Peter Robbins. All observed a small reddish colored light coming in from the direction of the North Sea. And I don't know, 30, 50 feet up, Without a sound, it exploded with such magnesium brightness that we know from Air Force medical records, it burned the retinas of my co-author's eyes. It took a few seconds for their vision to come back, and when it did, sitting in the ground fog was a fully articulated machine of undetermined origin, and Larry observed intelligences of some sort, uh, humanoid in appearance, but not your archetypical gray, more stocky, and they were floating about a foot off the ground. Um, I know how this sounds, but this is the way it is. This is the way it is. This is the way it was over three nights during Christmas 1980 in southeast England. You can ignore it. You can dismiss this as mere fantasy. But remember, Airman Burroughs, Penniston, Halt, and Larry Warren are all distinguished military men, and I'm not prepared to call them crazy. How about you? 
Richard Serrett's Conspiracy Show airs live every Sunday night at 11 on Zoomer Radio, AM 740. 